be making basics. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Definitely helps out the channel and the content. But without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, we've been having a discussion about whether you can change audio files to MIDI files in Logic Pro 10. Now, in my previous video, I said this is not possible. And that's because over the last 10, 20 years or whatever, it hasn't been possible. Once you have a MIDI or an audio file um, in place, that audio file can no longer be broken up is what I thought. But I stand corrected. Shout out to the subscribers who have pointed some light on the issue. Now, first of all, this all came about from a comment of one of my subscribers that said, hey, you know, can you change audio to MIDI? And I was like, no, you definitely can't. I made a whole video about it. But after doing a little bit more research, I found out that you can. I'm like, hold up, what? So this is what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna go ahead and explore that option again here in, in um, Logic Pro 10 and just get down to the bottom of it now before i thought that there's this thing called this right just check this out i'm gonna go ahead and put this um this uh quick help button on right and we're gonna scroll over a couple things right so for instance this guy right here is called the flex button normally this guy can be used to actually change the timing of a piece of audio stretch it um, either make it longer or shorter to fit a certain tempo. But there's also something called flex pitch. And when I actually looked into it further, I was like, wow, what? This could actually change your audio files to MIDI files. This is crazy. All right, so check this out. I'm gonna turn this back off. This is what you gotta do. Come over here, you're gonna double click on the audio file. All right, once you double click on the audio file, you're gonna push command F. Okay. When you push Command F, you want to see this long bar right here. So if you don't see it, just make sure you push Command F. All right. Boom. Once you see this long bar right there, you're gonna click on Flex Pitch, not Flex Time, which which I was talk the uh, one of my other subscribers was talking about was Flex Time, not Flex Pitch. Flex Pitch is a whole nother beast and animal. So we're gonna click on that. Boom. All right, now that Flex Pitch is selected, you're gonna go over here to Edit and scroll down and it's gonna say Create MIDI Track from Flex Pitch Data. What? Click that and now it's gonna pretty much change this audio file to MIDI. I stand corrected and I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I was wrong, it's okay. I was wrong. I made a mistake. I'm going off of information that I've been taught over the years, not knowing that Logic Pro 10 has upgraded the game totally. What? This is crazy. So I'm going to play the audio file first, and this we're going to make sure it matches up, right? So let's go ahead and play that. All right, so that's what the audio file sounds like. And then this is the MIDI file. Of course, we gotta change the actual, um, we gotta change the actual uh, instrument sound. So like, we just go ahead and grab like a um, alchemy sound. And let's, let's go ahead and grab like some leads. What? So that that that's pretty much. I mean, it's, it doesn't sound exactly like this because it doesn't have the same actual sound. This was a filter synth. Let me see if I can actually find that mug because it actually is in um, Logic here. Let me just say filter.
Filter synth. All right, so that one it sounds kind of similar to this one. Maybe maybe I messed up, right? Let me let me try to find another one, right? Let's try. All right, so we're gonna do this one instead, right? Just to make sure, because this is crazy. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. In all my years of producing, I've never known that you could actually change an audio file back into MIDI. So it looks like we could do it in Logic, and it's all too technology, man. This is crazy, man. I never thought you could do this. My bad, y'all. I this is the one time I gave some improper information. So yeah, you're just gonna double click on this, push Command F to make sure that long bar is selected, flex pitch, select that, and we're gonna go down till we see this create MIDI track from flex pitch data. What? Quit playing with me. This is the original file. Alright, and then this is the MIDI file. Now, obviously, we need to come in here and move some notes around and all that type of stuff, but, bro, this is, this is crazy. anyway yo that is the video bro like i stand corrected shout out to the subscribers who pointed me in the right direction on this my bad i stand corrected but yo this is the video you can in logic pro 10 i don't know if you can do it in any other software program but you can in logic pro 10 go ahead and create midi files from audio this is ridiculous bro crazy make sure you get subscribed to the channel we're out